Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the Elementor video series. In this video, we will see how to use the icon list element in Elementor. On many websites, you might have seen the contact details in the icon list format like this, where you can show the icon as well as the details of the icons, such as your phone number, email address, or the physical address. You can show the list of icons in the footer as well as other sections of your website. So here we are going to use the icon list for the contact details and we can use the icon list to show the checklist of services or you can also use this icon list in horizontal format and show it at the top of header. So the contact details of your website will be shown in the header in the horizontal format like this. So let's see how we can use the icon list using Elementor. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and we are using Elementor on this website. So let's start with the icon list with the contact details. On some of the website you might have seen the contact details in the footer. So let's start with this kind of icon list. So let me add a new section here. I'm going to use two column section and let's add some padding. Okay, in this column, we are going to use the icon list. So click on the plus sign and search for icon list. Here you will see the option icon list. Click on it, drag it and drop it here. So this is the default layout of the icon list and you will see three items here. So let's start with changing this icon list. So let's click on this first item. Here you will see the icon. Right now it is set to check mark. So let's click on it. And we will start with the phone icon. So let's search for phone or you can search for call. So I'm going to select this one. So here you will see the phone icon. Here you can change the phone text. So here I'm going to add the phone number. And if you want to link this text, then you can put the link here so if someone clicks on it it will dial the phone number on mobile devices so this is for the first item now go to the second item and go to the icon let's change it to email so I'm going to select envelope and here you can type in the email address and you can link this with this mail to and your email address and let's go to the next one that is address so for the address i'm going to look for map icon and here you can type in the address so this is the dummy address if you have any link to the map you can put the link here okay now let's add one more uh, let's add let's say i want to show the website so i'm looking for globe icon and the name of the website you can put it here and you can put the link here for the website all right so you can see that we have added four contact details here now apply link on full width so this is the full width the link will be applied to the full width if you want you can select inline and it will be applied only to the text and icon not the full width so I'm going to select full width here now let's style let's go to the style and now let's change the style settings the first option is space between so this is the space between two items so I can change that and you will see that the space is increasing all right so we have set the space between the icons the item list alignment to the left to the center and to the right so it depends on where you want to put these icons. You can set the alignment. So I'm going to set left alignment. If you want to show the divider, you can show the divider. You will see the divider between two icon list. You can say double or dotted. Change the width. Weight. You will see the weight here. Dash. This one is dashed and you can change the color also so this is how it will look so i'm not going to use the divider so i'm going to disable it 
Okay, now let's go to the icon section. Here you can change the color of the icon. From here you can select any color or if you have already set the global colors, you can select the global color. Okay, now hover color. So when I move the cursor, it will change the color of the icon. Now from here you can change the size, let's say 25. So here you can change the size of the icons. Now where do you want to align? Left center and right so i'm going to select center now let's go to this text from here you can change the color of the text this is the hover color you will see the color changes when i move the cursor on it now from here you can change the text indent that is the space between the icon and the text okay now this is for the typography the text typography and from here you can also change the font type font size and weight so these are the typography settings for the i text all right if you want to use text shadow you can use it otherwise don't use it i never use it so i'm going to disable it okay so these are the style settings from here you can change the motion effect from the advanced settings so this is how it will look okay, now if you want to add background color you will need to select the column and then change the column background color from here you can change the column background color okay, now let's say we can add border also and let's add some border radius also so let's see how does this look and this is how it will look so we have got the background color to the column this is the hover color and these are the four contact list details so i can also add some padding here so it will look nice now if you want to show the services or the checklist then also you can use this icon list so let's try this in this column Click on the plus sign and search for icon list. Drag it and drop it here. We want to show some services and we are going to use only the check marks. So let's delete the other items. We have got the check mark here. So let's see. Let's start adding the services. And if you want to duplicate, you can simply duplicate it so that the icon will remain same add new service if you want to show any page you can also use the page such as contact so let's see we have added five services four services and one contact page if you want to link you can simply put the link of your contact page here and it will link it will get linked to that page okay now Let's go to the style settings and we are going to change the style again. Let's add this space between. I'm going to use the same style. If you want to copy the entire style, you can simply click on it. Right click and copy. So we are going to copy the style of this icon list and put it here. Now right click on it and select paste style. So you will see the same style here. So both the icons will have the same style settings. So I'm going to select this one and I'm going to change the motion effect from right. If you want to copy the style effect of the column, you can right click on the column, copy it. Now right click on this one and click on paste style. So you will see the same style for the column also. So let's add some margin here. So let's see how does this look so this is how it will look let's change the background color for this one okay this one looks good now what if you want to show these contact details in the header section at the top bar and in the horizontal layout so what you can do you can use the same contact details so you can use the same icon let me add a new section here full width right now you see this icon list in the vertical format 
what if you want to use it in horizontal format let's try that one also right click on it and copy this entire icon list and in this new section i'm going to paste the icon list so you will see the same icon list here now i want to show this in horizontal layout so i'm going to change this layout right now it is set to default you can change it to inline and this is how it will look it will be in in horizontal you can change the color text size so that it will fit in the header section so you can use this entire contact list icon list at the top of the header or you can also use it at the bottom of the footer so this is how you can use the icon list in elementor so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools if you have any questions please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video thanks for watching quick tips